Good morning, day 12. So this morning I am going that way. So uh, yeah, about 16 miles of downhill, which is crazy. Um, so we'll drop about 6,500 feet in those 60 miles and then cross a major road. So that's a spot where some people go resupply. It's just a little convenience store, I guess. But um, there's also a Whataburger and a Chipotle and a casino, I guess, that has a restaurant. So I think a lot of people were heading in there today. Um, I'm not sure if I will. We'll see uh, when I get down there. Not a big change in scenery today, so I thought I would show my cook setup. So I like to carry these Coleman stoves. Um, I do like the other ones; they're smaller, the MSR and the Jet Boil, but they always leak just a little bit when I take the stove on and off. Um, so I've got a little MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, so it has its own little ignition switch, which is worked amazing so far. I do carry a spare or an extra lighter and a few just like batches just in case but uh yeah this is the only cooking pot that i take it's a tokes titanium pot um so what i've been doing is i just boil water in that and then i've got my <laughs> mashed potatoes already in the ziploc and then um after i get that water in i'll boil a little bit more and mix some coffee all right adding in some tuna creations to my mashed potatoes and then I've got uh, <clears throat> these little chips just for some texture to put on top. Even if it's the same scenery, it's still beautiful. Like every time you turn a corner, you just see it a little bit differently. The uh, shady green <laughs> uh, forest is gone for a while, I think. Um, walking through some tall grass now. It's definitely getting hot. It's a little bit before 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, and I think we've got a lot of desert coming up and the climb to Big Bear, I heard, is also uh, pretty exposed. So here we go. Something. Woo! Mile 200. Woo! It's hot out too. <laughs> and it's crazy. You see the snow up there? It was just up there this morning and heading down into the desert. Sitting under this big boulder in the shade. Um, there were a couple other hikers here a little bit ago. Um, yeah. You know, 16 miles downhill is really not easy at all. It's just tedious, a little hard on your, your muscles and your joints. Um, and uh, yeah, I got three more miles to water, so that's not bad. Uh, seven more miles if I want to, and I think I, now I do, go into the at least the gas station and get like a cold drink. Um, yeah, because everybody's kind of struggling out here a little bit where we keep passing each other back and forth and you know, somebody will find a shaded spot or at least a breezy spot. So all part of it, man. Yes. Last night it was a little cold. So this is just kind of crazy. Whew, goodbye San Jacinto. I think that might be one of the last views. So I'm maybe just a quarter of a mile from the water faucet. Now I'm so excited. 
Uh, so I just passed a few hikers maybe 30 minutes ago and they said the temperature's supposed to get up to 101. Um, yeah, feels like it. This is getting a little rough. So definitely going in to town. I guess you can get an Uber. <laughs> so I have to get that back on my phone and um, uh, yeah, I'll pretty much just get a ride in, wait out this heat and then hike, uh, you know, late afternoon, evening when it's a little cooler. Okay, loaded up on water and heading down to the next road to get an Uber into some place that has a really large soda. So one of the other hikers back at the water fountain is going to meet me down here and we'll split the cost. And yeah, that's all I want is like something liquid and sugar. Sounds amazing. And cool. Travel Center, right by the casino in Cabazon, Palm Springs area in California. Um, so it's 95 degrees. It's yeah, it's hot out today. So um, a lot of us got a ride in to you know eat or resupply. I had a couple very large uh, drinks, and that was awesome. So just waiting on Uber to get a ride back onto the trail. Okay, back on trail now after my Uber ride, which was quite fun. Um, so Cheryl, the Uber driver, is a local and uh, I guess it can get up. It's not unusual to get up into the 100 teens here. And she said there's usually a day or two where it gets in the low 120s. So I will take 95 degrees. Thank you. But yeah, so I got a... Uh, the furthest I'll go this evening is another 6.8 miles and get to the Mesa wind farm. Um, so we'll see. I know there's water there, which is amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, just see how I feel the next few hours. So, so I've been making these videos to realize how much I talk about food. <laughs> but that is part of it. Um, you know, I, so usually what happens with a food stop um, get in the town to do a resupply and that's where you get all the groceries you need um, and what I do and most people do is look at the next spot you can get off trail um, which so far has been like three to five days at a time um, and I'll pack food accordingly um, but sometimes you get these little stops like I didn't want to stay in comma zone um, but sometimes it's nice to have that little break in the day, especially a day like this where it was so hot. Um, and then you have to pack one less meal and, you know, you get that time just to go in and charge up your electronics, you know, maybe clean up a little bit, whatever you need to do. So food is a big part of it. That's a big part of the planning, but it's been making me laugh. I mean, right from the start, day one was planned around a milkshake, but... That's, a, that's one of the fun things on the trail. So, uh, Wooter and Sparkles had told me yesterday this area can have some a lot of snakes through here. So, we'll see. So, I guess they prefer to be in the shade during the heat of the day, too. Um, so, just those bushes that are close to the trail, keeping an eye on those. Roads. I think that's Interstate 10 right there. Oh. Just left the I-10 Oasis. So under that underpass, there are couch, water, ice, um, some other hikers hanging out. So. It's a nice little treat. About four miles to go today. Alright, goodbye, Cabazon, Palm Springs. Next up, heading back into the mountains and Big Bear City. I'm close to uh, the Mesa Wind Farm. That's where I'll stay tonight. Another mile and a quarter or so. Alright. 
Section C, 132.9 miles. Sounds exciting. You love being watched.